now uh, that we are back together here in Cambodia, I look forward to building uh, even stronger progress than we've already made. And I want to thank the Prime Minister of Co for Colombia's leadership and the ASEAN, as ASEAN chair and for hosting all of us. And, and also, I want to recognize that we're going to be in, uh, in the, all the work that Indonesia has done this year, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Do you think Elon Musk is a threat to U.S. national security? And should the U.S. and with the tools you have investigate his joint acquisition of Twitter with foreign governments, which include the Saudis? <laughs> I think that Elon Musk's cooperation and or technical relationships with other countries uh, is worthy of being looked at. Whether or not he is doing anything inappropriate, I'm not suggesting that. I'm suggesting that it's worth, worth being looked at. Um, and uh, um, and uh, but that's all I'll say. There's a lot of ways. Uh, all right. Um, Kristen. Kristen Welker. Thank you so much, Mr. President. I appreciate it. I want to follow up with you on working with Republicans. Leader McCarthy again suggested that he is not prepared to write what he has called a blank check to Ukraine, and yet you expressed optimism that funding for Ukraine would continue, that the policies toward Ukraine would continue. Why should the people of Ukraine and this country have confidence in that, given the comments by Leader McCarthy? And just to follow up with you on your comments to Zeke, you said you don't need to do anything differently. If Republicans control the House, don't you need to recalibrate to some extent to try to work across the aisle with a Republican-led House? Well, let me put it this way. What I meant was I don't have to change any of the policies that have already passed. That's what they said they want to go after. And so what I have a simple proposition. I have a pen that can veto. Okay? So that's what I mean. I don't have to recalibrate whether or not I'm going to continue to, you know, fund the, uh, we're going to continue to fund the, uh, the infrastructure bill or we're going to continue to fund the environment, et cetera. Why, we have to, I, I hope, I think there's a growing pressure on the part of the American people expecting both parties and all elements of both parties to, uh, um, to work out their substantive differences and not just, I'm not going to do that because it would benefit that party. Just make it, make it personal. So I, 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 and, you know, it remains to be seen what the makeup of the, of the House will be. Um, but uh, I'm hopeful that uh, Kevin and I can uh, work out uh, modus vivendi as to how we'll proceed with one another. 